What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat, we are here today. I've just, today has been the worst. I don't really know how to go much further than that, but like, I've had like six crashes with this game in the last 45 minutes. And I've attempted this mission about 35 times now with it crashing every single time. So you'll forgive me if I sound a little bit tired in this episode, and I'm not quite as like, jovial or funny, because frankly, this mission has like, worn out my last patience. So, I don't know what it is about this mission, but it crashes my game. So, we're going to give it an attempt right now, and if we actually get through it, I will be incredibly surprised. But, let's just give it a go, and if we make it, we make it, if we don't, we don't. The EDF are pulling out of Oasis. To cover their withdrawal, they're sending in the tanks. Armored units are now converging on your position, and they'll destroy anything in their path. Do whatever it takes to stop them, Mason. The people and facilities here are critical to our effort. If we lose Oasis, we lose the war. Okay, and so apparently nobody told our leadership that you shouldn't stack everything you need to continue the war effort in one spot in a world where airstrikes and all kinds of other crazy shit exist. So we've got to defend our... Does this, is it just me or does the Red Faction constantly seem like they're just like screwing up? Tanks. We've sighted an armored unit moving in from the south. Intercept and destroy it. Okay, let's go intercept and destroy it with our taxi that the game has generously given us to help with this quest. Hooray! Here comes the tank, and honestly, the best way to get rid of the tank is just to stack a whole bunch of these charges over here. Oh, good. That's pleasing. He shot my charges. If you were wondering what happened right there... The lid off that sardine can. A second tank's rolling in from the north. Okay, and so now we get to go over here. Now, this is a really, really tough mission for a number of reasons. Aside from it crashing every five minutes, there's not just tanks that you're having to deal with. Like, they come in just insane amounts in this mission. I don't remember if this is, like, one of the last... Ooh, there's a walker. Hold on. Two tanks. Proceed with caution. Yep. This is the solution. Okay, so we're gonna jump inside this right here. Now, this thing is like a catapult from Mech Warrior. I don't know if you ever played Mech Warrior or not, but this is basically a catapult where you can walk up on things and just fire a bunch of missiles at them. We're going to set up on the side of the road right here, and we're just going to shoot at anything that moves, to be honest, because there's going to be a lot of them. There are going to be a hell of a lot of them. Skeet shoot them for a second. All right, tanks, bring your shit. Come on. There it is. Well, maybe they should have thought about that before they became horrible like oppressors. You know what I mean? I don't know. I have no sympathy for bad people that like bad things happen to them. I'm just like one of those people that very much enjoys the fact that there's like comeuppances exist in the world and these things happen. It looks like somebody's coming this way. My tank, or I'm sorry, my walker is taking a lot of damage though. So I might think about just sort of hanging out for a second and seeing if maybe I can propel. Oh, hello. That guy up on the hill causing all kinds of problems. Unfortunately, this does sort of limit our ability to move around the battlefield because it's very, very slow. So we'll just hang out. God damn it. That thing up there. Just go away. Seriously, you bastard. There we go. I don't know which direction I should be going in right now. It says the tank is trying to get here, so I guess I'll go this direction. Our walker is looking pretty mangled though already, because everybody out here I guess has an arc thrower. Which is pretty, pretty awful for us. Can this thing like walk backwards? Good. Walk backwards for a little bit. And I'll just deal with these guys as we go along. It also doesn't help that their vehicles seem to have like a magical correcting instrument that allows them to just correct over and over and over again. But we'll make do. Where the hell is this tank? Like, what is this thing doing? Not its job, obviously. It's just like sitting in one spot. Alright, having caused 11 million dollars worth of damage, let's continue walking in one direction. Yeah, bipedal robot is not really selling me on its mobility right now. Well, I'm, I'm working on it, but my vehicle goes like a mile an hour. There we go. 
Okay. So where do I go now? Let me guess. Back to like the same place that I already was. Oh good. Let's spread the level out as far as we humanly can. My god. Get out of here. I do enjoy this vehicle. I wish that we got this vehicle more. Okay, so there's our tanky friend. He is actually going in a different direction than... That's a little weird. Alright, whatever. We'll follow him over here. It says that he's supposed to be coming over here, but... I doubt the validity of that statement. There we go. So there's another tank taken care of. Or tanking care of, I guess. And we will continue to travel enormous distances in our tank that doesn't seem to be very fast. Awesome. No, no. Shoot him with the missiles. There we go. No, don't overheat. How dare you? How dare you? Where's this tank at? It's right there. Okay. I don't really need a waypoint for it, but I did it as a reflex. So you know what? It's done already. So whatever. It's like a piece of gro like glowing scrap right there. We shot the glow stick out of somebody. We shot something so bad that it just spontaneously pooped a glow stick and was like, Well, I bet you didn't even know that was a thing. You can shoot something so much that it poops a glow stick. That vehicle out of here. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you, walking robot thingy. I believe in you. I don't even know what to call you right now. I'll call you Terrence. Come on, Terrence. Around the corner we go. Oh, he's already ready for me. Luckily, I fire faster, so ha. We did it, Mason. Oasis is free of EDF control. Hooray! We actually made it through the mission without it crashing. I'm so excited right now. You can probably hear the tiredness in my voice on this one because... This has turned into like an all-day endeavor for me, just trying to get through this mission without the game crashing. I almost feel like I want to cry right now. I feel little lumpies in my throat. No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually just sort of happy that it's over with. Every now and again when I do an LP, there's a jetpack. Whoa. Hold on, why wasn't I informed that there would be jetpacks involved? I don't remember a jetpack at all. And it seems kind of strange that I don't remember having a jetpack. Like, a jetpack seems like one of those major things that you would remember. Okay, and so we have to go to Free Fire Zone now. I don't even know where Free Fire Zone is at, but I'm feeling bolstered by the fact that I finally completed this mission. I'm feeling very, very chuffed at the moment. I'm pretty excited about this. So I suppose I'll take my super awesome robot o murder and collect some of the scrap right here, even though I don't really need to. Is this robot always in the same spot? Because I kind of want to use this robot again. Also, I'm going to walk through this guy's house. I have come for the party. Where are the profiteroles? You don't have profiteroles? Your party is inferior. It is of horrible quality and I now destroy your house as a comeuppance. What did we learn today? Always bring profiteroles. <laughs> a robotic rampage for profiteroles. Now I've seen everything. You there, propaganda sign. Away with you, even though I've already cleared this zone. This town is actually looking a lot the worse for wear. I don't think that battle went quite the way the Red Faction was expecting it to. Let's grab all of this scrap. Ooh, there's a bunch of it in the middle of the street. Yes, don't mind if I do. Will we breach 400? We breached 400. 400 has been... You there, lamppost. I despise you. Fall over. Apparently it's rocket proof. But fine then. I didn't want to destroy you anyway. Why is there still... There's an EDF guy over here. The last EDF. Just trying to hide in a corner. Just trying to camp it out. It looks like there are still some guys in here. I mean, not many, but it looks like there are still EDF running around. Huh. That's unexpected. I destroy! Annihilation is at hand! Or, I guess this thing doesn't have hands, so Annihilation is at shoulder launchers. Annihilation is at shoulder! Awesome. Feeling pretty good about this so far. I mean, I probably should have... Would you say helicopter? No! He's beaten me. 
I can't even shoot that high. Where is he? I hate it because they fly right above you. And it is super obnoxious. Just point blanking people with rocket launchers. Awesome. Let's extricate ourselves from this situation, shall we? Let's find ourselves a vehicle. Fine, I will shoot all of you with this slow firing blue laser rifle thing. And I shall also blow you up with a charge and then take your car and run away to my safe house. It seems like this rifle does better damage to vehicles than you would expect it to. To be honest, it seems like the blue rifle actually is able and capable of damaging vehicles. That might be its actual use, I'm not sure. They don't have like weapon descriptions anywhere in the game where you can like mouse over them and it talks about what it's good or bad at, so you're sort of left to your imagination. However, at this point, oh my god, I'm so stoked that we're done with that mission. I am... I was bummed out, believe me. I was sitting here just like in a silent rage. I don't rage out about video games a whole lot, but I was getting pretty close to having a nerd rage of just neckbeardy proportions. I think, yeah, six crashes in 45 minutes, that'll get you pretty close. That'll get you pretty close, but we seem to have survived it. It's not crashing anymore, so that's good. One thing I would warn you about, I know I didn't get to it at this point, but if you're going to buy this game, be aware that just based on your configuration of hardware, it may crash to desktop a lot. It'll just be like, bing doo and just like stop. And you'll have that little tiniest like, it has not, it has stopped responding. I'd be like, well, that's cool because my games don't really respond to me in the first place. I've never had a game be like, oh, hey, what's up, Splattercat? How you doing today? After I talk to them. Most of the time, it's just me responding mostly, so... But yeah, it'll be like, Windows has stopped responding with Red Faction Gorilla. Would you like to wait? Or would you like to just let it crash like it's going to anyways? And you'd be like, okay, I could sit here and wait 45 minutes for it to crash. Or I could just click the little button and be like, yeah, just close the program now. Whatever. Ooh, we actually have a fast... Oh, I've parked my vehicle yet again on top of the outer... Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to do that. I mean, it just sort of happened. Let's go back over here. And where is this jetpack at? Where is this jetpack at? Oh my god, it costs 650? That's exp no, that's expensive. Expensive. Okay, so I guess I don't get a jetpack on this mission. And so I'm going to invoke my whiny voice briefly and then we're just going to continue running around and killing stuff. Is there already a safe house in the next zone that I can just teleport to? Because if it'll save me a drive, I would really appreciate it. My guess is that maybe we're going over here next. Like, where's the exit to this zone? I don't see... Is that it right there? Do we cross over from... I think we... Oh, we do. So the next mission is right there. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can't solve that mission. I'm going to teleport on over. It's been a while since we've been back to the Parker Sector. Wow, what a long, strange, crashy journey it's been. I feel like I'm being a dick right now just talking about how much the cra like the game is crashing. Like I really do feel like a broken record, so I think I'm going to lay off of it for the rest of the episode. Try and get back to the funsies, but it's so hard to recover. Like unless you're an LP or you have no idea what it's like to wrestle with a game like all day to get one episode recorded. And it is so insanely frustrating. Take my nano rifle just in case. I don't know if we're going to need it or not. We'll jump inside this vehicle. Wow, we are back at the point where our vehicles don't even have guns on them anymore. That's how far back in the game we are right now. Our vehicles are no longer armed, but they do come with a terrifying yellow blinking light, just in case you wanted to tear the, terrify the enemy with your phosphorescent glow, I suppose. Like, ah! Bask in fear of my illuminating object! It blinks! It might, if I get really lucky, give you an epileptic seizure, maybe. You have to stare at it really hard, though. Let's go over here. Oh, we actually have a pretty considerable drive to go. There, I thought I destroyed those solar panels in the name of PG&E before. I guess they respawn. Damn you, solar panels. That or the Red Faction has been industriously working to replace all of the random collateral damage I've been causing throughout this war. I do feel like I've taken just a ridiculously... I've taken a lot of the weight of this mission on my shoulders. I guess I am the main character of the video game, but I'm just saying, I think they lean on me a little bit too heavily. I mean, what about when I need to rest? What about when I need a break? You know, like, what about that? When does that become a thing for good old Alec Mason? Are you just going to keep leaning on me like this? This is the EDF Free Fire Zone. Unauthorized personnel will be fired upon. Stay clear of this area till the Red Faction has a plan to get through. Okay. Supposing we have a plan to get through. Welcome to D-Day, Mason. 
Parker, Dust, and Oasis are now free of EDF control. These guns are all that stand between us and EOS. Colonel Broga's data has exposed gaps in their artillery coverage. We've plotted multiple lines of attack to exploit them. Here's your path, Mason. Follow these waypoints and don't wander off. The odds are against us, and a lot of people won't be coming back. But if we can't silence those guns, the fight from Mars is over. Well, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that if the odds are against you, rely on the evens, so... Okay, well, let's just be on our way. You need to rendezvous with that group ahead of you. We've got to make it through that zone. It's our only chance. It's our only chance. Off we go to meet up with all of the other lambs to the slaughter in our Kuru Rari. Off we go. I go first. Everybody behind me. I am the hero. Wander off and those guns will blow you to pieces. Get to the next waypoint as fast as you can. The longer you take, the more time they have to target you. My armor is made of the strongest thing imaginable. The plot. I'm going to try and do this as rapidly as I can because Artillery Fire and I have a long and sketchy sort of allergic relationship to one another. So I would prefer to not have their little grenades falling on my heads. My heads? I just pluralized heads for some reason. I don't have multiple heads. Well, I guess in a certain sense I might, but we're not going to go there because this is a family channel, damn it. This is a family channel. Get your mind out of the gutter. Some of these people don't even vaguely seem to be like sticking to the plan. They're just like driving off all over the place. Are we, is that what we're doing right now? We just kind of make a plan so that we can not pay attention to it. Towards the giant yellow pillar of light. Does everybody else not have these, or is that just like a thing that Mason has? These people are really complainy. Give me downer, seriously. I can assure all of you that at least I won't die. How about that? Does that make you feel better? Hooray! I made it. Locate the power cores and destroy them. There will be three of them. Off to the power core. Oh, and running over a guy. Vehicular manslaughter. That's always fun. That's always an enjoyable side practice. And straight to the side of the building because that's how I do it. And through this wall, maybe drive around up here, yeah, lightly crash into that for a couple seconds. There we go. Oh, wow. And now what we need to destroy, I think, is inside this building. Hey. What are you doing? I'm trying to do storyline stuff right here. Don't you know you can't kill me when I'm made of plot? Like, Deus Ex Machina and all that? Like, nothing bad can happen to me. I am the protagonist in this story. Even if you kill me, I'll be back in like five minutes, so why even bother? Why even bother? It's sort of depressing when you think about it, huh, Eddie? See, you don't come back. I just come back over and over. He's like, actually, I'm just like you. I come back over and over, too. I'd be like, really? I've been killing the same guy for, like, the last 25 episodes? He's like, yep, my name is Stan. And I'm like, wow, that's, that's actually sort of convenient for you. Good for you. Good for you that you're such a plot device that they won't allow me to kill you permanently. I mean, at a certain point, I just kind of have to praise you for being around. I need to get some health back. Hold on. Give me some health back. There we go. <laughs> shoot to kill. <laughs> like, shoot to maim slightly, but also not permanently disfigure. <laughs> that seems like an overly specific description, sir. All right, back up behind the crate we go. Here we go. What do we want to do now? I think I probably want to make use of that vehicle right there. And then we will probably crash it into a building somewhere. Yep. Let's go. Let's get inside this vehicle because I am being shot with machine guns right this second. And it hurts. And it stings. And it's uncomfortable. Oh my god, these roadblocks are too sexy for me. Too sexy for me. There we go. Through the roadblock. Not that sexy, actually. Marginally sexy. 
And you, sir, have earned my ire. I'm just going to crash my car right into the front of your building because reasons. And all of you are going to die at the hands of my super awesome hammer. And then I may also take a moment to blow up this car. Because I'm feeling particularly vengeful right now, and why not? I should also probably blow up some of these buildings, right? That seems like a good way to spend my time. Eh, let's go, let's go do the thing that's storyline critical first. Maybe I should do... Oh, no. It seems kind of weird that they were just, like, waiting for me out there. I mean, not that weird, because that seems to be, like, the thing that they do, but... I really am sort of jealous about how fast they can run around while aimbotting like this. And bomb in the center. Goodbye. And now it's time for me to get into a... Did that blow it up, damn it? I specifically went inside and threw a bomb on you. Why aren't you... Die already. Like, really? Is surprisingly resilient. Ooh. One more core to go. I'm gonna keep moving because standing still seems to be very, very malignant. Also, I'm gonna run up on this guy with a shotgun because I'm suicidal like that. Do I have what I have a nano rifle right now? Hmm. I wish that the nanites would spread in between people. Like, that's what I really wish. Because it would be like a virus. It seems to be pretty good for, like, destroying some things, but not others. Like, for example, for a building, it just takes way too much effort. Far too much effort to nano it down. I mean, the bombs are, frankly, the easiest way to do it. I want your scrap because there's a jetpack that I want to buy right now. When was the last time you used a jetpack to justify it, like an expenditure? You'd be like, I need to save money so that I can get a jetpack. I don't. I feel like if you haven't said that at least once in your life, I, you you'll feel at least a little downtrodden. I mean, I wish that I was able to justify making an excuse for spending money on a jetpack a little bit more often in my life. I feel like I'd be a little bit more fulfilled. Hey, guess what? There you go, run over by your friends after I do that. Hopefully they don't come from behind me and catch me in a nasty little pincer attack. In California we have pincer bugs. Do they have those everywhere? Do they have pincher bugs everywhere? I don't know, they have those little things on their asses that pinch you, or at least people say they pinch you, earwigs. I've never been pinched by one. They seem kind of not so violent to me, but maybe if you get an especially large one it might be able to pinch you to death. Yay! Ow. The gun has been silenced, Mason. It's over. No, Commander. This is just the beginning. You're right. Eos won't even know what hit him. Okay, and so we've completed Tharsis. Is it kind of... I don't know if it's... I think it's just punny that destroying Tharsis was kind of cathartic. It helped with my catharsis. Awesome. Free Fire Zone has been liberated. Oh, look at all that control disappearing. Sucks to be you, Eddies. What is that, a thermobaric rocket? What the hell is a thermobaric rocket? Is that like a bunker buster? I like how it points at this end. It's like, stay clear when firing. That thing looks like it has some wildly impressive headgear attached to it. Like, do we mount it to a vehicle? Because it looks like it might be a little bit cumbersome. Either way, I think we're done with this mission. So, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here in the Nerd Castle for another episode of Red Faction Guerrilla. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode where I think we should be coming to a close pretty soon. I mean, we've done a pretty decent job at annihilating the enemy so far. So, I'm going to run around in here and gather up scraps, see how much money I can make before the next episode. So, at the beginning of that, maybe we can buy ourselves a jetpack and we can get our Boba Fett on. That's going to be super awesome. Or at the bare minimum, we can be like the Rocketeer. That was a popular movie when I was younger. Everybody liked The Rocketeer. I don't even think I've seen it, to be honest. I don't know. I had to sit back and think about it for a second. I don't think I've seen The Rocketeer, actually. I remember what he looked like. He had, like, that red flight jacket, and he had that ridiculous helmet. But, yeah, I don't think I ever watched that movie. 
Maybe I just watch bits and pieces. Hmm. I learned something today. Maybe I should go watch The Rocketeer. Anyways, thanks for joining me here at the Nerd Castle. I'm sorry about bitching so much about the crashing, but it really has been getting in the way of me, like, making episodes for all of you. And since you like episodes and I like making them... Anyways, I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care, everybody. Hi-do!